Hi, my name is Mike. This is part four of Babylon the Great Analyzed. Um, as we're looking at other uh, parts, we're now coming to Revelation chapter 18, verse 3. Um, sorry if I didn't go on to every single bit of detail, but I'm trying to highlight bits that correspond to the three uh, places it could possibly be, as people say it could be Rome, Vatican, uh, Israel, Jerusalem, or America. So this is Revelation chapter 18 verse 3 uh, it states that the kings of the earth committed adultery with her and the merchants of the earth grew rich from her excessive luxuries so it's a great city with much luxury and wealth in verse 7 of revelation 18 it states in our heart she boasts it is enthroned as queen i'm not a widow or never mourn sounds like a boastful prideful nation that believes it's unbeatable verse 8 Therefore, in one day, her plagues will overtake her, death, mourning and famine. She will be consumed by fire for the iniquity, for, for mighty, sorry, is the Lord God who judges her. Sounds like destroyed by fire or nuclear weapons. Um, in one day is a short period of time. And verse 9 to 11, when the kings of the earth who committed adultery with her and shared her luxury, see the smoke of her burning, they will weep and mourn over her terrified at her torment they stand far off and cry woe woe to you great city you mighty city of babylon in one hour your doom is come the merchants of the earth will weep and mourn over over her because no one buys their cargo anymore so this must be a rich place that has excessive wealth and luxury a place where ships dock for their goods verse 17 to 19 in one hour, such great wealth has been brought to ruin. Every sea captain and all who travel by sea, the sailors and all who earn their living from the sea will stand far off and see the smoke of her burning and lament over it. So which country has great wealth where much cargo is sent there? New York, for example, has a, has a port where much cargo ships go there. The port of New York and New Jersey in the US East Coast's largest port, which move over 4 million containers of cargo, for example. If we examine also the book of Jeremiah, uh, chapters 50 and 51, I'll pick out uh, uh, scriptures from there, we may get more clues to Mystery Babylon. It speaks in Jeremiah, for example, 50 verse 3, that a nation from the north will attack her. Babylon and lay waste her land. No one will live in it. Both people and animals will flee away. Also in Jeremiah 50 verse 9, it speaks of an alliance of nations against Babylon. Jeremiah 50 verse 9, for I will stir up and bring against Babylon an alliance of great nations from the land of the north. They will take up their positions against her land, her, and from the north she will be captured. Their arrows will be like skilled warriors who do not return empty-handed. Arrows or missiles, an alliance of nations, will attack Babylon. Um, the Vatican, for example, if they attacked the Vatican in Rome, would they even bother? Uh, alliance and they, right, let's get the Pope, get the Pope, let's come on everyone. Wouldn't it be more likely a nation that has upset many other nations? Verse 23 states, Babylon as the hammer of the whole earth. Let's read Jeremiah 50, verse 23. How broken and shattered is the hammer of the whole earth. A hammer, a powerful nation, uh, will be shattered. A powerful nation, as it was described as a hammer. Remember also that ancient Babylon was a world power or empire. Also in um, Jeremiah 50, Verse 30, it states, Therefore her young men will fall in the streets and all her soldiers will be silenced in that day, declares the Lord. Don't think the Vatican has soldiers. So Babylon has an army. Again, it can't be the Vatican. In verse 38, it states, A land of idols. Well, America has many idols. Biggest of all is obviously the mother of harlots, Ishtar, uh, Libertas, the Statue of Liberty and plus many others throughout the lands, many free, Freemason symbolic Im uh, imagery and buildings. 
from the Pentagon right to outside the White House itself. I'll leave links to some of these uh, monuments and stuff. And also at verse 46 it states, At the sound of Babylon's capture, the earth will tremble. Its city will resound among the na sorry, its cry will resound among the nations. So Babylon's capture will be a shock to all nations as they look on at the smoke of her burning in one hour, a short time. And in Jeremiah 51, it states that Babylon will be invaded. Jeremiah 51, 14. The Lord Almighty has sworn by himself, I will surely fill you with troops as a swarm of locusts, and they will shout in triumph over you. Also, verse 29 of Jeremiah 51. It states Babylon will be laid waste. And verse 37, Babylon will be a heap of ruins. Verse 42, the sea will rise over Babylon. Its roaring waves will cover her. Um, and I'll continue in the next part. God bless you all. Bye-bye.